This is for all of those who have been called too skinny or too fat. This is for anyone who doesn't like what they see when they look in the mirror. This is for anyone who wishes they looked like someone else. Hey guys, Kayla here. Welcome to my channel. I'm psyched you guys are here. If you are looking for ways to live an abundant, purposeful, and radiant life through Jesus, you've come to the right place. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and you can be a part of this amazing community where we grow more and more in love with Jesus every single video. All right guys, let's jump in. Let's be real. We were not born with insecurities. We weren't born comparing ourselves. Instead, we have just gone through life and we've accumulated these lies and terrible thoughts that have just been with us throughout our lifetime that have tainted who we really are and how we see ourselves. And God put it on my heart to talk about body positivity and really just how we look at ourselves. We oftentimes tend to compare ourselves to this unattainable version of beauty that society tells us that we should measure up to when in reality it's not a godly standard and it really just serves to just ruin our lives quite honestly because it just takes the joy from our lives and we start looking at ourselves in a way that is a hindrance to our destiny. So first things first, we need to understand that God does not make mistakes. So the God of the universe, the God that created everything, he created you and he created you wonderfully and beautifully, and he does not make mistakes. So we need to look at ourselves as created beings, created by God, and he just sees us as his masterpiece. So one of my favorite verses, this is in Psalm 139 verses 13 through 18. This is, this will be pretty long, but it's so beautiful, like you need to hear it. And this is in the Passion Translation, so it's just next level. So it says, you formed my innermost being, shaped my delicate inside, and my intricate outside, and wove them all together in my mother's womb. I thank you, God, for making me so mysteriously complex. Everything you do is marvelously breathtaking. It simply amazes me to think about it. How thoroughly you know me, Lord. You even formed every bone in my body when you created me in the secret place carefully, skillfully shaping me from nothing into something. You saw who you created me to be before I became me, before I'd ever seen the light of day. The number of days you planned for me were already recorded in your book. Every single moment you were thinking of me. How precious and wonderful to consider that you cherish me constantly in your every thought. Oh God, your desires toward me are more than the grains of sand on every shore. When I awake each morning, you're still with me. Wow, how beautiful is that? Let's dissect this for a little bit. So anytime you feel less than and you are critiquing your body, you're critiquing yourself, let's just see what the word has to say about you. So it says that God, he created every single part of you. He created your insides, he created your outsides, every curve, every shape, every ounce of you he created. He made you carefully and skillfully and God doesn't make mistakes. So he made you that way for a beautiful reason. This I love, this just really wrecks me. God thinks of you every single moment of every day. The creator of the universe thinks about you every single moment of every day. He cherishes you. You are always in his thoughts. And all his thoughts about you are good thoughts. They're not bad thoughts. His desires towards us are greater than the sand on the shores. That is stinking beautiful. <laughs> so the next time you're looking at yourself in the mirror and being like, oh, I wish I had a different nose. I wish my eyes were different. I wish my legs were different. I wish this were different, blah, 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 blah. Just remember this, read over this. Again, this is Psalm 139 verses 13 through 18. Just speak this over yourself, declare this over your life so that you can see and begin to understand how God sees you. 
you. So be kind to yourselves. If we see how God sees us, who are we to think less of us when the creator of the universe thinks that beautifully of us? Don't compare yourself to others. We're each made to be individuals and that's what makes us all so beautiful. We're not meant to look like anyone else or to think like anyone else or to have the same life as anyone else. We are uniquely made by God. So own the unique traits about yourself. No one else is you. And be grateful for what God gave you. Everything that we have is a gift and we are to honor our bodies, honor the gift that God gave us through our bodies. And let's not forget that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. So if we look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20, it says, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you? whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. We've talked about this before. We are so valuable that we were bought with the price of Jesus's blood. And that is absolutely insane. And I really think about it again, like we should just treat ourselves with the utmost respect to honor God and treat our bodies with respect, but also treat our minds with respect to our bodies. And we should look at our bodies again as a wonderful gift from God that houses the Holy Spirit. And I had said this analogy before, I don't even know how I thought of it, but if the Holy Spirit lives in us, think about it, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a gift that Jesus left us. He is part of the triune God. The Holy Spirit, like we should have reverence towards the Holy Spirit. So if the Holy Spirit lives in us, we should treat our bodies like the best hotel in the world, right? Like a Four Seasons or a Ritz Carlton, the best of the best. We shouldn't be treating our bodies like the worst rundown motel you can think of. And again, that goes with how we treat our bodies, like what goes in, but also what we think and hear, what we think about us, the thoughts that we think to make sure that our thoughts are true and noble and are a reflection of Jesus in his mind. So I mentioned earlier, we also need to be considerate of God's standard of beauty versus the world's standards of beauty. This world, I like can't even begin to go into how messed up the world has got us into thinking what our body should look like, what our faces should look like. I mean, like who is the world, right? Like who is society? They didn't create me. God created me and he doesn't make mistakes. So whatever I have is here for a reason and it is a gift. We know that God does not like rate us based off of our beauty or our outward appearance. That's not what's important to God. Really what matters to God is what's in our heart more than what our bodies or our faces look like. I have two verses that I want to highlight and this is in 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 8. It says, for physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. So you can go to the gym working on your body and you can just like hit your PR every single time and think that you are just crushing life. But what matters most is our ability to be more and more like Jesus every single day. God cares more about that than our physical training. And it is important again to take care of your body, but what's more important is our concern with us getting closer to Jesus every day. And then the second verse I wanna highlight is in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse seven. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. And this is from scripture when basically Samuel was highlighting David as the next king, which was a instruction from God. And God is saying, listen, I didn't pick any of David's, like I think six other brothers or seven other brothers who might've been taller, more handsome, stronger. God doesn't care about the outward appearance. He cares about our heart. Let's do an exercise, okay? The Holy Spirit put this on my heart as I was writing the notes for this video. So we're gonna do an exercise. So pause this video if you need to go grab a piece of paper and pen okay and meet me back here all right i'm back so now that you have a piece of paper and a pen i want you to write down all of the negative things that you think about your body or your outward appearance on a piece of paper so take some time to do that now and i'm going to do the same because we're in this together Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let me just throw this out. Okay, 
So right now, we break agreement with these lies. We break the agreement right now in Jesus' name. We denounce these lies. These are not words from God. These are lies from the enemy, and we denounce them and break this agreement right now in the name of Jesus. We will replace these lies with God's truth over us. So again, we break agreement. I'm gonna rip this up. If you wanna burn this up, whatever you have to do, this no longer is valid, okay? That is broken right now. We cast it off of us right now in Jesus' name. So from here on out, those lies will no longer bind us. We are over the lies of the enemy. And God, we accept your truth over our lives. God, we know that you have fearfully and wonderfully made us, that we are your masterpiece, that you love us, you care for us, and that you think that we are beautiful, and that you care about what's in our heart more than our outward appearance. And God, we just want you to just download in our spirit the truths that you have about us and over our lives. We wanna start believing those right now and breaking the agreement with these lies in Jesus' mighty name. And Holy Spirit, anytime we start to bash ourselves or go back to these lies, we say, uh-uh, not gonna happen because our mind is now renewed by the blood of Jesus. Through Jesus, our mind gets renewed every single day. So we ask you to just do that right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Woo! I'm excited. <laughs> I hope you guys are excited. Sometimes you have to do like these exercises, these prophetic exercises to tell the enemy, back off. You don't have a hold on my life. I belong to Jesus Christ. So back off and to remind yourself like no again we have control to renew our minds through jesus that is amazing so whatever you're going through right now know that jesus can help get us through it and jesus can help show us his truth over that situation in our lives Whew. all right guys i hope you found that useful and helpful i am praying for all of you guys that we just begin to look at ourselves the way that god sees us and that we just stop this negative self talk talk because we don't have time for that. We are focusing our gaze on Jesus and focusing our efforts on getting to the destiny that God had planned for us before we were even born. All right, guys, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, drop me a comment below, and stay tuned next week for the next video. All right, guys, peace, love, and blessings. Bye!